Good morning, modern steaders. It's not raining out yet. It's supposed to at some point today, but I'm hoping we can get outside and start working and start clearing and getting ready for our next project. So we'll have to wait and see when the rain comes in. Good morning, ladies. You ladies do realize I feed you over there, right? You don't need to fly out and come over here. You're just that eager to come and see me? Come on, a moose, maverick, goose. There you go. Hey, you gotta come this way. All right. Did it start raining? I don't know if it's gonna rain or not. We have blue sky right there, and then it's all clouded up over there. Good morning, Willow. Put your head in, you can't get your head in. Good morning, ladies. I was able to catch two of the loose chickens yesterday and clip their wings. These two flew back in and then they flown back out this morning. So we're gonna have to catch them at some point today. You ladies wanna go in? Here, over this way. Go under, there you go. At least you know, at least we know you're safe now. There. You ready, Miss Muppet? It's raining out, and the sun's trying to poke out right over there. So, in blue sky. So I'm hopeful that this rain's gonna stop. And we can start getting ready for the next project this morning. Good morning, ladies. You ready for breakfast? I know, it sounds like rain on the roof, but you'll be fine. I promise you won't melt. Come on, girls. Hope they don't want to come out in the rain. Tell, tell them it stopped. They won't melt. You gonna go get that chicken? She wants your breakfast. Everybody wants to know, Hope, if you're pregnant. Tell them they gotta wait for your ultrasound. Good morning, little P. Blossom. I think it's so funny when the goats pick one area to eat down really hard one day. It's like this area is down, that area, and then it's still high over here. They love the knotweed. Just like that, it stopped raining. Okay, it's not raining. I think it's gonna be one of them days. Come on, man. It's not it. Huh? Yeah, come on. Good morning, girls. You had to leave your dish over there again? What the heck? She don't get zapped. All right, I'll feed you a little bit, then I'll go grab your dish. Right there. There you go. You eat that, and let me go grab your dish. Whoa. There you go. Everything we planted over here in the pig's garden is doing really well. This corn right here is almost knee high, so we're pretty excited. The boys are too.
Well, I'm hoping the rain will hold off for a while. So we can get some of our projects started. Chainsaw. Got some wedges. I should probably grab our bar and chain oil. You like it up there, Figaro? Need to figure out our irrigation setup that we're gonna do. <laughs> I bought the irrigation line probably about a month and a half ago now, and we just I'm still working on the plan in my head to figure out how to lay it out on the homestead. We need to take down four or five trees for this project. Any guesses of what we're going to be doing now? I hate to have to take down the trees, but they're in our way. We bought this property five years ago now and it was abandoned. It used to be an old farmland and pasture way back when. And unfortunately, everything is overgrown and just doesn't produce. So the apple trees that we're taking down today, they're old, but they don't produce. We've tried, we tried keeping them, we've tried all the apples off of them. They don't taste good by any means. So they need to come down, make room for the next project and then we're hoping next year we can plant our apple orchard. This year we were going to do it, but then everything just went on with the world and it's hard right now to get blueberries, apple trees and stuff. We want to make sure we get the apple varieties we want. So next year, hopefully we'll be able to get the apple trees we want. But leave it in the comments down below. What do you think we're going to be doing down here? Let me show you where we are. Here's the road we put in last year, the barn, and then boom, we got to take down these trees. And then we got to move all this stuff and then the pigs have got to get moved. All that won't get done today, but this is the stuff we got to take care of so we can start getting the next project set up. The good thing is, is we need a little bit more firewood to get us through the next two years. So all this apple wood should get us through that, and then we'll have plenty of wood for smoking our bacon and our hams with this year. We have the Oregon Power Shop bar and chain on here. I find it works really good for cutting down apple trees. Don't know why, but had good luck with it on the apples. anyways It'd be interesting to see what it looks like once we got it all cut <laughs> actually surprised that this part of the tree is in really good shape.
You girls are filthy. You've been rolling around in the mud and loving it, haven't you? Look at you. They're in hog heaven. Oh, I know the goats are gonna love this. Oh, you already know what I'm bringing you, don't you, Buttercup? She's like, yes, sir. Here they all come. I'll bring you back some more. The apple branches are loaded with minerals for the goats. They're gonna eat the leaves first, then they'll go and they'll eat the bark. It'll be good for their diet. You gonna go have some IV? And Nora, it's good for you. The boys are funny. Sometimes they'll eat them, sometimes they won't. I was hoping to start this part of the project this past spring when we had the wood chipper here. If you guys didn't see that video, I'll put a link to it right here. It pretty much grenaded on us. So my goal was when the chipper was here to start coming down here and cutting them down, taking some of the branches and chipping them. And then we would have had more wood chips, but it doesn't always go as planned, unfortunately. I'm hoping that the girls are gonna eat all the bark off these branches like they normally do. And then I'll come back and cut up all the little branches and I'll use that for our smoking firewood for the bacon. I'll give you something to do. Watch out. Look at that. They'll figure it out after a little while. These trees were also in our way last winter when we were trying to plow. Luckily we didn't get a lot of snow last year. Otherwise, we would have been in trouble with these trees right here. So that's one of the reasons we gotta do what we're doing down here. So that way during the winter time, we have a place to push all of our snow without getting stuck or having too much snow encroaching on the barn. One of the things with where we live, our climate, our winters I should say, plays a big key in designing our homestead. We get a lot of snow here. We have cold for a long time. And when we get snow, it lasts for four to six months. So once it starts falling, we can't plan on it melting until March and April. So we gotta make sure we have enough room to put all of our snow for four months. We have to plan and design the homestead for our winter. This apple wood's really gonna help heat the house this winter. Always forget to take before and after pictures so let's do a before right here all right that's our before picture and we'll come back when we're done so this one right here is our next tree it's really crooked it's gonna be interesting to see how it falls I'm hoping we can get it to go right there where that last tree fell find out yeah I think we can get her 
Need a little persuasion. <laughs> Boom. Took a little bit, but we got it where we wanted it. These wedges come in so handy. Always nice to have the wedges and an axe. Oh, I have to repair my axe cover. I got the strap. Yeah, the top portion of that tree is dead there, and all pears dead. It's covered in moss, so not the healthiest of trees. Pretty, pretty muggy today. Uh, won't be no lack of sweating going on. Huh. It's pretty amazing how big some of these apple trees get. That'll make some really nice firewood. I am a sweaty mess. I just had to run in the house and get some water. I was checking the weather station. 94% humidity today, and it's only 71 degrees out. I'll tell you what, that humidity makes you feel like you're working in a sauna. I might lose an extra couple of pounds today. It's starting to cloud up again. I hope we can get this done before the rain comes back in. <laughs> I'm gonna get that picked up and I'll be right back. Last two trees by the Bucks Barn. We have to wait till tomorrow to cut them down. They're kind of wonky. If you look at them, they're like leaning in and out. I'm gonna put a rope on them and pull them over so that way we make sure they don't take down the barn. That would not be good. So that's gonna have to wait till tomorrow when we have more time so we're not rushing it. I don't want to rush it and then crush the barn. So that'll be on tomorrow's plate. I'm making some chef cheese. I went ahead and last night got it, the culture, everything, heat the milk, sterilized everything, heat the milk, got everything ready, added my rennet, and then I let it sit overnight. And it looks like it's ready for me to go ahead and do the straining process. So far it looks like I think it should. I'm just gonna save the way that comes from this for our animals. Hopefully it will all fit in my strainer because that's as big as one as I have.
I'm gonna check and see if the peas are good to any are good to pick. Oh yeah, we're ready. We're ready. Look how big those are. Okay, so the ones that are about that size, we'll pick those ones, and then we'll lift the, leave the rest on. Just in a couple days, they've gotten huge. I can use my big basket, but I think they'll fall through. If they're puffed up, we'll pick them. Good. Well, look how big these are. I hear thunder. There you go. What do you get? I say 10. 12. 12. I have two broody hens. Two. Four hot eggs. Got a smirk on your face, there must be 12. 10. 12. Nice, a full dozen. There's the thunder again. Have to be quick so we don't get rained on. You've got your whey and pea shells for your pigs. Yeah, they're gonna love them. They are. Your ladies liking them branches. Nora and Ivy, those good. Did you find all the little itty bitty apples that were on there? They are. Aww. Hope it looks like you had a baby. An Ivy baby. An Ivy baby. Looks a lot nicer over here now. It looks, wow. It looks opens good. it. Opens it right oh, up. Yeah, it does. Can you smell that already? Huh? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I need your dish. Here, let me see that. Right and if my cheese doesn't come out, guess what? You can have that too. The girl's hungry. How's that smell? Just drinking it up. Freddy? I'll make like a cereal for you. What are you doing? Well, we got done just in time. She's coming down good now. I let the cheese drain for about six hours. Now I'm gonna stick it in here. Maybe I let it go too long, but we'll figure this out. It's maybe a little dry. Let's see. And I'm just gonna add some salt. Yeah, it's a little crumbly. 
Anyway, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna salt it, and then hopefully I can do it. Still a little crumbly. Next time I won't let it hang so long. Cause it should be more like a cream cheese texture. This is more crumbly. I am gonna try a little bit before I stick it in the fridge. It probably would taste better cold. It's not like super crumbly. It's a little bit crumbly. I wouldn't even say crumbly, but it's not like cream cheese consistency. So probably not hanging as long, but let me try that. Tastes like it should. It's a little tangy, but not overly. Pretty good. All right, so I'm just gonna stick this in the fridge. And then I will try different portions, try different seasonings. And next time I will not hang as long. Don't give up this rest for your I'm not sure if you can see it right there. And I played that little itty bitty green stuff. That is zucchini from our garden. Our greenhouse, I should say. It's pretty small, but we couldn't wait any longer. We didn't want to go and buy any at the store. We had all that in the greenhouse. So man, I'll tell you what, it was delicious and I'll also tell you what I am tired and sweaty from cutting them trees down but man it is looking so nice I can't believe how much that opens it up down there if you guys want to watch another fun video I'm gonna put a link to the video right here of when we rented the chipper this early spring and it blew up on us not what I was expecting at all or hoping what was going to happen Thanks for coming along on our homestead journey with us, guys. You are a huge blessing to us in our homestead. And we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres.